Hello everybody and welcome back to the poor man's chemist. In this video I want to try preparing the zinc copper couple that is used in the Simmons Smith cyclopropane synthesis that we discussed in the last organic lecture video. Now there are a lot of ways that you can make this zinc copper couple. The overriding theme from what I've seen seems to be you take something like copper acetate or copper sulfate, you combine it with zinc of some kind, either powdered zinc or granular zinc, you add some acid, this causes reduction of the copper which deposits on the surface of the zinc, and the zinc appears to be in a pretty large excess in everything that I've seen. Um, I can remember learning about the Simmons Smith cyclopropane synthesis when I was in school and it was one of those things that I looked at and it was like, man, I wish that I could get a hold of those reagents or that I knew how to do that. You know, I mean, I read about the zinc copper couple. This is before the days of Sci-Hub, you know, where I could just look up how to make this shit. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, making cyclopropanes was a very challenging thing in organic chemistry for a long time, and now we've got shit to the point where you can pretty much make these fucking things in your backyard if everything from what I've seen is true. Um, you know, I've shown you guys the prep of diiodomethane from dichloromethane, and now I am going to try to show you the prep of the zinc copper couple that you need. Um, I've never made this before, so we will be learning together. The way that this prep starts out, we have to have a hot solution of copper acetate and glacial acetic acid. This was interesting because um, I had to make copper acetate from copper carbonate. You can see I'm, I'm, this is um, where I'm working on the second crop of crystals here. It's very nice, very pretty. Um, but I used all of my glacial acetic acid making the copper acetate. <laughs> and then I go back and I read the protocol and I'm like, Fuck me, I need glacial acetic acid for this son of a bitch. Um, because of course I do. So what I decided to do was to hydrolyze uh, a little acetic anhydride in order to make glacial acetic acid just by combining um, one to one molar ratio of acetic anhydride and water, um, mixing them together in a beaker and then boiling the piss out of it for several minutes with good stirring seemed to affect the change nicely. Now the synthesis of the couple, this is from the paper that I quoted in the organic video, the synthesis of cyclopropanes from a highly active zinc copper couple using dibromomethane and um, alkenes. I'm, I don't know, this zinc copper couple seems to be so generalized, I'm pretty sure that the, this prep of the couple would work also for diiodomethane. Dibromomethane is harder to make, you can't use the Finkelstein reaction in order to make that. Um, only the iodide, so that one's a bit more challenging. Anyway, here is some of the copper acetate that I made up here. It's very nice, very pretty. Actually, I love this compound, man. It's always it makes pretty crystals, and it's always so beautiful. Um, I have dissolved 1.16 grams of that in what is essentially 30 mils of glacial acetic acid that I made from 25 mils of acetic anhydride and 4.77 mils of water. Now, here comes the fun part, and I'm not exactly sure how the fuck this is supposed to work, because we have to take 20.3 grams of powdered zinc and add it to that. Now, my chemistry spidey senses are telling me that when I add zinc to hot acetic acid, <laughs> this, this motherfucker is going to make a fuck ton of hydrogen. It's going to foam, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what it's going to do, but I'm thinking it's going to react kind of vigorously with zinc dust. But this is what the paper says to do, so fuck it, here we go. Alright, chem peeps, so our copper acetate has dissolved in our glacial acetic acid, and here goes nothing. Oh, well, maybe it's not as bad as I was worried about. 
Got some gas gen. Oh, okay, there we go. Copper is being deposited. Nice, nice. Okay, we need to let this go for 30 seconds. So, here we go. Watching the timer on the camera. Okay, turn stirring. Letting the time. Bubble, bubble. Okay, what happened to the short color that it's supposed to have? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, there we go. Remove it. Now we're supposed to let this settle and decant off as much of the liquid as possible. It's only supposed to let it settle for about a minute, half a minute to a minute, it says. Then we have to decant it with an equal volume of acetic acid, glacial acetic acid. Okay, we're going to give it the full minute here. Oh, you are turning into a solid mass. Why are you doing that? Did it go? It was the temp it, it just said it had to be hot. It didn't give a specific temperature. All right. It's been 50 seconds. Let's try this. Okay. There was no way to decant anything. I don't know how we're supposed to decant anything off of this since it is bubbling a lot. Hmm. Okay, well, this is supposed to be a rinse, but again, not really sure how we're supposed to get any liquid off of this. It's supposed to be a silt-like solid. It is that. <coughs> yeah, okay. This is supposed to be brownish. Now it is depositing copper in here, but... Alright, I'm going to filter this off. Having to improvise quickly, because I don't have any more acetic acid to try again. Don't want to use any more acetic anhydride. Not for something that I don't actually need. All right, baby. Come on. Come on. Work with me here, you fucking whore. That's right, you bitch. Drain. Drain, you fucker. It's not reddish brown. It was reddish brown there for a minute. I don't see how we could have overdone it. I mean, it'll just deposit the copper on the zinc exactly like it's supposed to. <laughs> but the color is decidedly gray. And it was fine right up until, I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe the temperature was slightly too high. Uh, this is another video I'm going to have to put out where I'm going to be like, okay, people that have done this before, what do you think? God damn it. Uh, I, I don't know. February is always an unlucky month for me. Don't ask me why. It always has been since, like, the mid-90s. <laughs> I'm really feeling like my mojo is, is being crushed here, goddammit. Uh, well, the next step is to rinse it in um, three portions of ether. Now, I don't have any pure ether. I, I wasn't going to go through the incredible hassle of distilling some, but I'm going to try using the ether heptane mix because it's volatile 
I don't see how an Alcane is going to react with this. Um, you know, clearly the text wants us to keep water away from it, I think. But I don't see how an Alcane is going to mess anything up. Okay, I'm going to take the hot surfaces away because I don't feel like a fucking ether fire. Don't feel like dealing with that. Certainly don't want to be standing in the middle of a fucking fireball here. Oh, God. Hello. Ether fumes. Woo! Here we go, you son of a bitch. Filter. Filter, you fuck. Seems kind of porous. Is that good? There's the fucking thing. All wet and contaminated is exactly not as I need it to be. Lovely. All right, let's hit it again. This fucking starter fluid is getting hard to find again. Only this time I don't think it's tweakers. I just think it's more Bidenomics there. <laughs> Which, by the way, way to go Canadian truckers. Who would have thought Canadian truckers would save the fucking free world? I, I you know, we're, we're going to have to take back everything we said about Canadians. <laughs> I'm sorry, man, South Park, but, um, yeah, it just, just doesn't hold anymore. Sorry, Canadians are officially badass now. Don't look at me. I don't make the rules. Okay, well, this kind of looks just like metal powder, but let's pour it out and let's see. First, let me get rid of all of this highly volatile, flammable shit. Because I don't feel like dealing with the fire. All right. Um, I know we'll check in the woods. <coughs> don't get your panties in a twist. It's just acetic acid, ether, and heptane. It'll either evaporate or it's acetic acid, which isn't toxic. All right. Let's lay this shit out and let's let it dry. Well, should we give it another little spritz? Let's just give it a spritz. There we go. Nice little spritz. Maybe get down in there. Yeah. That's nice. <laughs> nah, the ether fumes have no effect on me. Okay, everybody. So the paper says that we are supposed to end up with a dark reddish gray compound. I guess, you know, I, I could, I can imagine that this is that. Um, I, I would have expected it to be a bit more reddish. But again, the copper reduced, it has to have deposited on the zinc. It can't have gone anywhere else. The paper says that the moist couple it, like this is ready to go. Um, and is ready for use as is. It doesn't say that it can be dried and stored, so I'm not sure. It just says the moist couple is ready for use. Um, this was actually very fun, man. It was a lot, it was very interesting giving this a try because, like I said, I've never seen this done. I, I've never seen the couple itself. I've never done this particular reaction, although I would very much like to give it a try. Um, I just figured that if I ever do want to do it one day, you know, I better figure out how to make this couple. You know, I mean, after my prep of diiodomethane, I think I've got that one figured out pretty well. Um, so yeah, anybody out there that has experience with this, or I mean, if you've just got any feedback in general about this, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, I know this video and the last video have been kind of... That they're not really, you know, hey, here's how to make this thing from start to finish, and I'm 100% sure about everything with it. But, you know, 
on the other hand, I, I think people do enjoy being involved in the, you know, research and experimentation process. People seem to like that. So I hope you guys like this. And any feedback or input that you have would be extremely welcomed. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. You can still see that on BitChute and Odyssey. Which, by the way, guys, check out my Odyssey page. I mean... Odyssey is, at this point, they've, they've just done another damn upgrade. It is an absolutely functional platform. I haven't had any issues with buffering or anything else. I mean, for, for me anyway, it's been running smooth as butter. And, you know, it's another place where you can find all my stuff. Although, I haven't made the play, uh, playlist there yet. But she's the only place where you can find the playlist. Anyway, subscribe, comment, share the video, um, throw a few bucks my way if you find this interesting, and until the next one, you guys, I will see you later. This was fun. This was really neat. I wonder what the hell I'm going to do with this stuff now. <laughs>